Am I good? Yeah. Like now? Welcome back to the Hoyle Board Company YouTube channel. I'm Aaron Boyle. This is Dialing In with Aaron. Today, I'm going to be dialing you in how to assemble a complete skateboard. Super easy. Uh, gets to be like clockwork eventually. Now we do handle razor blades in this demonstration, so kids at home, if you're under the age of 16 years old, make sure you have your parents' permission or supervision or whatever absolves us of any legal, <laughs> you know. All right, so first step, get your board out of the plastic. If it is a high quality skateboard, it should be wrapped in shrink wrap. That's how you know it's worth anything. Uh, I like to grip the skateboard first. Some people like to assemble the truck's wheels and bearings first. Not this cowboy. So you're going to want to peel off this backing sheet here. I like to save this. It's helpful down the way. So get your grip tape. Be really careful because this adhesive is very sticky. It will stick to anything. And it's a tough little cookie to get off. So. You're going to want to very gently lay the grip tape on top of the skateboard. And then, when you get all nitty gritty, and as evenly as you can, flatten it out from center to the tail, and from the center to the nose. Fewer bubbles the better. So yeah, try and get that nice and smooth. And then I like to take the backing piece, lay it back on top so that you're not roughing up your hands too bad. Just smooth that all out. Try and get all those bubbles out of there. Fewer bubbles, better the grip tape will stick. And you'll have a nice smooth flat platform for landing and setting up for tricks. So next, you're gonna wanna find your edge and wear down the area around the skateboard uh, that you're gonna be cutting the grip away from. So now you have a kind of reference point for where your board is underneath the grip tape and also this area has been worn down a little bit so it'll be easier to cut through. So now very carefully with your razor blade and I want to very gently kind of pick a hole under there. So then you take your excess, throw it away or stick it on the wall, whatever. Probably shouldn't do that at home. You're going to take that same file or screwdriver, whatever, back down around the edges. Alright, so that was easy. Now you're going to want to take some kind of stabby little <laughs> Neanderthal tool and jam it through your hardware mounts. It's just to give you a reference point of where they are on the top so you're not poking around here trying to find them. Next you're going to want to get your bearings into your wheels. Here at Hoyle Board Company, we have an ultra-futuristic bearing press, um, so that works out for us pretty well. If you don't have a handy-dandy futuristic bearing press, there's a little trick that we learned. You get your wheel with the bearings just kind of in them, and just push down on the truck. I guess that works better when it's mounted to your board, but that's not how I do business. So. And yeah, gets it right in there, sets pretty evenly. If you want to swap your bearings out, it's pretty easy just to take the truck, get that first bearing in there, use some leverage to pop it off. So, pretty easy. All right, so now that we have our bearings in our wheels, we are gonna put our wheels and bearings onto our trucks. So I know a lot of the little shredders don't think the washers that come with their trucks are very beneficial. Um, fact of the matter is that they totally are, dude. They help your wheels just to roll more smoothly um, and not have too much play back and forth. Take your handy dandy little skate tool, cinch that down. Now the less play that you can have, the better without stopping your wheel from turning. Now, these are just basic ABEC 3s too. so. Sweet! 
So now we'll set them aside, take our conveniently placed hardware, insert that into the hardware mounts. Alright, so you got those in there. Make sure they're all the way pressed through. Take the new trucks. Come over that. Yeah. Alright, so basically done. Just gotta cinch it down. Your super cool power tool that most kids have access to these days. And it's also important to do this diagonally, like you would do on, say, a car tire, if you're changing it out. Uh, it just kind of helps the uh, truck sit a little better. And that's it. Now you have a fun new toy to go out and shred mini ramps or ledges or whatever. Whatever's cool these days. I'm not even gonna front. I don't know. Now hopefully everyone at home can enjoy their own after this step by step. So yeah, thank you for tuning in to the whole YouTube page. This has been Dialing In with Aaron. I'm Aaron, and you have been dialed in. So until next time, keep it fresh.